floss tubers. Life is better with a Scottish Terrier and cross stitch. This is my good friend Dolores and I'm Dottie stitching Scotty. Welcome to floss tube number 29. It's all about cross stitch and whips, which are works in progress, which I'm calling whip mania and new starts galore. We have loads of stuff to show you and we just like to welcome you. And this uh, floss tube is dedicated to our friend, Shelia. We both have our pointers. <laughs> From the Sunshine Stitchers, ouch. <laughs> She's dangerous with that thing. <laughs> Gary, now I know how you feel. Anyway, <clears throat> Dolores got me this for my birthday and I couldn't find it last week to show it and then noticed it was on my refrigerator. <laughs> So there you go. But anyway, <clears throat> we would like to welcome everyone and hope you're here to laugh and have a good time and enjoy cross stitch. Um, we've got some whips, we've got some new starts, we've got some FFOs, we've got a couple of giveaways, we've got some haul, we've got lots of plans, and I am not going to show any new designs that are coming out this week just because we have so much. So, without further ado, here we go. First of all, we're going to showcase Dolores' piece. Now, we're sorry to say that we cannot find this in any shop. So, if you're going to look for it, you'll have to look for it on eBay or Stash Unload. This one's called Old Glory, and it's by, designed by Honey. <clears throat> and it uses sampler threads and weak style works. And tilt it to the house, toward the house, yes. Well, no, you're getting a nice view of my house. Okay, there you go. This is Old Glory, and you see the little girl's pigtails and the clay buttons. They're just so, so cute. And, and this, done it twice. And she's done it twice, she said. Have you got it? Because I'm mm -hmm. letting go. The frame is from Hobby Lobby, and she got it in 2019. So it's 468368. Um... <clears throat> this is Honeybee Creations, and this is on 10 count natural Betsy Ross linen, four strands over one thread. And the design area is 96 by 64. And the buttons are also from Honey. You can put it down now. Okay, there you go. All right, so that's the one we showed that's going to be kind of hard to find, but it was so pretty. And you know, this is Memorial Day this month, so we thought we'd show it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the next one is just too cute. It's a new design. This is called, I love it. <laughs> this one's called Dear Santa Lobster Dinner Ornament. Okay, and no, I'm not from the North. I'm a Southern raised girl. This design is by the Elegant Thread. And <coughs> this is the design. Is that not too cute? Little lobster in a lobster cage. And this one, it uses cross stitches. It's on 22 count, um, yeah, it is, linen. And the design is, if you can't even see it. <clears throat> the design is, hang on, there we go, 41 by 55. And it's one thread over one. And there's a queen stitch for the eyes. The black is the queen stitch. And it came with the netting. This was like a kit. And is that just not too cute? We love, love, love it. And this is from the Elegant Thread and the Elegant Thread Store. Um, you got this one, what, in Somerville? In Somerville. At Fire Poppies. <clears throat> we love Fire Poppies, too. Then, next, we have Waxing Moon Designs, Preserving Liberty. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, America, Preserving Liberty. Liberty. And this one's on 28 count linen. It's two threads over two. And what kind of uh, threads did you use, Dolores? Uh, I use DMC. I believe that was mostly all DMC. Okay, but this is the Preserving Liberty and it came with two patterns. And this is Sweet Land of Liberty. Is that not just wonderful? Makes me want to get mine out and stitch it if I have one, but I don't think I do. <clears throat> but it's also on 28 count and she framed them herself and I like the little bows. They just look so cute. So, so cute. Can I lay that there? Okay, next we have a finish by Lizzie Kate and this one's on 28 count and 
I researched in one, two, three stitch and I could not find it. So you'll need to check with your local needlework shop. And this one's called, I know God won't give me anything I can't handle. And I did this in 2020. And this was done in 2020 and it's on 28 count linen, DMC. DMC. And it, she used DMC floss, the DMC floss conversion. And she got the frame, I would say at Goodwill. <laughs> yes. Just by the way it looks on the back. <laughs> okay. But it's a very nice frame. But she does very neat work. Okay, wait on that one. Okay. Okay, and the next finish we have is one of mine. And this is a Mill Hill. And this is really the June calendar, not the bay. But I did not want to go in my trunk and pull it out. But this is Peace to All Who Enter. And this is on 14 Count Ada. And it's got the beads, and then it's uh, two thread, uh, yeah, two over two, no, two over one. And um, it's got a little bit of back stitch, lots and lots of beading. And the frame, of course, was included, and it had the two hooks on the bottom. So you can see those to hang the calendar on. And I think you can still buy the calendars. I've not seen these recently, though. But I just pop these out and uh, do those. <clears throat> The next one we have is also um, a Lizzie Kate. I could not find the leaflet, but this was on like a gardening spring leaflet and there were three patterns on it. I do remember this, but I saw this time to sew and I just thought that was so, so cute. And this one's on 28 count and I used for the watering can, I used sampler threads and the rest of it was probably DMC and a mixture of sampler threads, maybe for the shovel sampler threads. And it's two over two. And the frame came from the Stitch and Frame shop in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And I just like that, um, I don't, yeah, you can see it now, the textured frame thing. It just reminds me of spring. Okay, and next I actually have some is that all the, yeah, except for the FFOs. Now I have some current FFOs. I actually went in my sewing room and my craft room and finished a few things. You can Surprise! <laughs> it's really bad because I'm not it's a bad. good finisher. Not a good finisher. We have a big stack. But anyway, <clears throat> you know my wonderful pattern here from the uh, May, June, just, uh, no, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts magazine from 1995. This pattern right here, the Christmas cabin ornament. <clears throat> um, you know, it was it was a finish a couple of weeks ago, and now it's the FFO. And this is my um, finish right here. And the pom poms are from Lady Dots Creates, and uh, the uh, glue. You know, I'm crazy with glue, and right here is. The material it was just some quilting material i had in my stash that i thought would go well with it so there's that so my monthly warning sale is done for april okay so that goes over there all right the next thing has been in my pile of things i need 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 to finish and you know i do love me some lizzie kate and this was a kit um uh, and it's called red white and blue and I saw that and I just went bonkers. I was like, oh, I gotta have it, gotta have it, gotta have it. Here you go. And <clears throat> it included all the finishing fabrics, the ribbon. It had the button, but I lost it. So I had to go through my buttons and find one. And the stitch uh, count is 71 by 74. I used two, two strands of floss over two threads of linen and it used sampler over dyed threads <clears throat> and there was something else i was going to tell you oh all the finishing directions are on the pattern so there you go and it was very easy to follow the jute and everything was included but i was really tickled and this is not the button that was included like i said i lost my button but it didn't take me too long at all and this fabric was also included and there's my finish Okay, <clears throat> and that's on 28 count. Okay, all right, <clears throat> that's all my FFOs. Two is about all I can handle. 
and then it's like <laughs> uh, I do have another one started it's in if in process finishing but I'm not going to show that today because I only went about this far on it all right next we're going to show I have a finish and everyone's just going to teetotal faint now that it's finished you don't have to look at this one anymore Amen. February is done Woohoo! from Country Cottage Needleworks I'm so excited okay so now I have January done I have February done but March April and May are being skipped until further notice all right so go ahead this one's on 28 count something from my stash and this is uh february it's two threads over two and i used the call for classic color works threads and i just really thought that was really cute but after a while kind of tired of pink because pink is not my favorite color all right so there's that i'll save this for later okay you can just toss it <clears throat> see we're, we're just so casual here yes but we're out in the backyard at my home yep. so there you go in south carolina good warm south carolina we were in cool cool north carolina and it was freezy cold with yes. no eat. eat so we came home okay but anyway what have i been doing lately okay so well let's see what dolores has been doing what kind of finish do you have dolores that one that's your finish oh this one's called <clears throat> thought i'd forgot didn't you blueberries <laughs> berries and bees and this is a collaboration between blackberry rabbit and needle bling wait a minute needle bling designs okay sorry for the glare and you can make the scissor fob uh the pin uh cushion or the box top sorry dolores okay go for it all right she's using dmc flosses um Da, da, da. it's two over two and we're not sure if this is a 30 or a 32 count uh but it's very very pretty and we really like it and the little bird is just so cute and this one's going to be the scissor fob you see yes okay next video we'll expect her oh, to uh on. have it done <laughs> <laughs> but the pattern came from fire poppies and the directions are in here and it's really really good directions all the templates are in here so i would highly recommend getting this pattern and it's a good price I, if i'm not mistaken i think this one came out in needlepoint expo last year i may be mistaken now is that all your finishes that's oh i have more but <laughs> they're just not here just they're wait just people. not here okay now i didn't do 24 hours of cross stitch this this month because I didn't have time. I'm so sorry. I missed it, but I stitched, but it wasn't any 24 hours. <clears throat> also, uh, you've already seen my Blackbird Sal that I belong to, and we're now going to talk about Whipgo. What is Whipgo? It's a way to help you finish your works in progress, which is how they get Whip, W-I-G. And I made my little bingo board, <clears throat> my arcade bingo board, and I labeled 24 of my works in progress with this. Yeah, go ahead and pin him on. And so far, I finished Baby. Oh, wait. I have a pointer now. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> baby is cold outside. <laughs> Quit laughing. <laughs> be kind, be true. I finished that one. Uh, it's not FFO'd yet because I'm, not, I'm a hesitant painter. Then I have Spooky Halloween. I did three blocks on that. My free space. <clears throat> Tiny Pumpkin Eat You. So I did one item on that. Square Dance, I did two blocks. Uh, Holy Night, I had a finish. And then uh, Snow Village, I did one block. So this month she called 19, which is Rather Be Stitching. Well, I put down I was gonna have a finish because I didn't think there would be that much. Oh, it's fine. It I had to, to do one back. stitch where a string light hung oh, it. That's okay. This is my <laughs> little apron. This is a retreat project from Pandas Cross Stitch and Beading in Malden, South Carolina. She has wonderful retreats. Just be glad when all this COVID mess is over, over, over so we can start having in-person retreats again. But anyway, I have a, a royal blue apron, which I'm not showing. And this is my progress right here. So you can tell I've made a good bit of progress. <clears throat> It says, stuck in the kitchen, much rather be stitching. And you've got three strands of floss. I need to do some outlining. I need to finish up the black. And then I also need to do the back stitch with the needle and some big X's. 
and this one will be done. So, <laughs> I can see a finish on this one soon. This one's on a piece of white 28 count Lugana, or no, Cashel linen, excuse me, and it's two threads over two, all DMC, all DMC. <clears throat> all right, next, she called out 22. Now, I did have a snowman on there, but I was getting so tired of white, I thought, no, Whipgo's going to die in the dust if I don't change some of these snowman winter projects. So, because I like Halloween, <clears throat> or to stitch Halloween, I picked Trick or Treat stitching with the, by Stitching with the Housewives, and I actually won this on their uh, video, their floss tube. I was so excited. I, like, jumped up and down for joy. And then I won the threads, and then I also had won the, the pattern from Southern Stitchers Company. So be sure and check her out on uh, Etsy. Well, no, she has her web page, which I'll link it below. All right, and so this one uses classic color works. It's eight by 10, and this is what I've got done. I finished the rest of the candy corn. I have a pointer, pointer now. I have a pointer, Shelia. I finished the rest of the candy corn. Imitation, Shelia, is the most sincere form of flattery. I hope you know that. All right, so I finished the bottom of my candy corn, and then I started the witch hat. I would have filled it in, but I ran out of bamboo because I stole it for another project. And all the other bamboo was all over here. So, this is two over two, and this is 28 count black even weave from Fat Quarter Shop. And the stitch count is 111 by 139. And I just really love this. And I even have the pumpkin that Priscilla showed hers on from Hobby Lobby that I got last year to put it on. Okay. <clears throat> so this one's really fun. In fact, this is what I'm stitching on now. This is my whip go. Now what I'm supposed to do in this one is 400 stitches. And do I have, how many stitches do I have now? I do not know. So let's look and see. So I have, Well, I've only got 108, no, 158 stitches right now. So I've got about uh, 342 stitches to go. Piece of cake. So that'll be fun. That'll be lots and lots and lots of fun. So anyway, that's Whip Go. So the 27th of this month, uh, mm -hmm. Jessie Marie uh, Facebook group, she will be pulling um, the numbers for next month. Okay, next, <clears throat> um, Let's see. I'm stitching with, um, what are you looking for? Oh, yeah. Go what, ahead and pin the next one. ones. Yeah. We're not organized here. This is my first time with two people. I'm just like, I don't know what to do. This is my <laughs> first time ever. And she's doing quite well. She's a good slave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. She's a very good friend. All right, next. <laughs> I'm warped. You know that, people. Or you wouldn't keep coming back. <laughs> But anyway, I just believe in having a good time, and this is fun. Okay, from the Just Cross Stitch um, magazine, yeah, that's what it is, February 2000, or 2021. Oh, my goodness. Okay, they showed the Christmas stitch, and it comes in parts. It's my, my Quaker Christmas sample. Yes, people, I am still on part one, but I did not start it till this month. Okay, I didn't get a lot done because I have discovered that I am not a confetti stitcher, unlike most people. <laughs> not really. So anyway, you ready? This is on... Where's uh, your pointer? Oh gosh, Sheila, how do you do it? Okay, last time you saw it, I had the heart with a diamond shape around it. And then I've done all this confetti stitching, the holly and the base of the Christmas tree, and then some more confetti stitching. This is on 28 count uh, sapphire, the yeah, idea is green sapphire, blue sapphire. Anyway, I told you last time and I can't remember because I do not have and it. And it's got my, confetti hanging off the sides. It does, yes. I do not believe in, uh, you know, doing any of that <laughs> stuff. The only thing different is the red is bean cherry from Color and Cotton. It's left over from my Leela May Designs retreat, which I had a blast at, meeting Priscilla and Chelsea. And the rest is DMC flosses. Okay. All right, so that was fun. And I will hopefully keep plugging along on this, but I'm working on the tree right here. So, all right. <clears throat> so little by little. 
that's how that one's going to get done. Next, um, I have, I just, this was just because it was Stitch Mania. It was just stitch whatever I want to, Mania, as long as it's a whip. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. All right, this one is another Stitching with the Housewives patterns because I just love their patterns. And this one is Carrot Seeds. <clears throat> okay, I'm using the Call for Flosses, except I did not, I could not find four leaf clover. So I'm using 702 instead of 320 like they suggested. Go ahead. And there's a lot <clears throat> of green. Lots of green. I'm stuck on the green. You see, I got the green at the top finished. And now I'm starting on the green on the bottom because I did not have, there was a color I did not have, deep blue sea. So I've got to figure out where my 931 or deep blue sea went. Uh, I substituted clay pot for a pink DMC, which I did not write the number down. So I do not know what it is, but everything else is classic color works. This is on 28 count black even weave. No, it's not, I lied. It's on 32 count something in my stash that I bought at a yard sale. <clears throat> okay, and this stitch count is 42 by 56 and it's two strands of floss over two threads of back stitch. So there you go. It's got confetti also around the edge. Yeah, <laughs> I just love my confetti. <laughs> All right, then, <clears throat> This one is from Annie B's Folk Art, and it's caught, this is a new start. Oh wait, we're not gonna, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this one. They're out of order again. What else do you expect? Time to Bloom, and this is, it's your time to bloom. Now, they suggested you use DMC flosses, and you know, I just happened in my wonderful new stitch bag that Deborah gave me for my birthday. Mm. Uh, I just happened to have some sulky threads, the sulky thread pack that I bought for the Moo the Merrier. So I'm using the sulky threads for this, and I'm using one strand over two threads, and I have substituted the white 1001 for the DMC white, 1147 for the 321 Christmas red, the pistachio green, I've not picked out yet. I'll probably use the DMC for that because I don't have anything to match. Turquoise is uh, 1046. Uh, turquoise light, I'll use the DMC. Beaver gray light is 1328 sulky. Old gold light is 4002 sulky. And forest green dark is 1174. And the others, I'm gonna use um, DMC flosses. And this is the first time I've used the sulky threads, and that's my start. That's the little sheep right there. So I'm really enjoying doing this one. He's he's so cute. And uh, like I said, one strand of uh, floss over two linen threads, 75 by 45. And this material was a piece of white, antique white jobulin I had in my stash, 28 counts. Thank you very much. You're such a good helper. I know. <clears throat> and next, we had another new start. Now, I finished February. So, I should have gotten this one out ahead of time, but I did not. So, here we go. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. I decided it was just fruitless to start with May, even though it's May. So, I'm doing June because I thought it was just so cute. So maybe I can stay caught up now. Now this one is on a piece of stash, a 28 count stash I had in my closet. And you can see my pointer. You can see the yellow house. I got that done. And then also I got the grass that we, it was sitting on. And that's all I've got done so far. And it's two strands over two. But I thought that was a pretty good start from yesterday to today. All right. So that hopefully will be done by the end of the month. This goes in here. Then next, I got to start something patriotic. And I'm not a big PDF fan. And the reason I will say is because you will notice from the way my patterns look, okay? So just sling it. It doesn't matter. We clean up later. <laughs> yeah, y'all floss tubers know about this. Notice how I said y'all. 
because I'm a southern girl. <laughs> Aren't and we? I am a southern girl from Charleston. Yes, we're born and raised in the south. Okay, this is from Cherry Hill Stitchery, and this is Stars and Stripes Forever. I saw this pattern, and I said, oh, honey, we've got to have that. It's just too cute. And this is a PDF, and you see the condition this paper is in. This is what happens to my PDFs. I think next time I'm going to print them on cardstock, and maybe it won't be as bad. But anyway, this one's a two over two on another piece of linen I had in my um, had in my stash, and I stitched and ampersand and the stars, and that was my start for yesterday. This is. Uh, 107 by 83 uh, stitch de uh, design, and I've got all DMC threads. So hopefully I'll get this one done in time for, um, not Memorial Day, but 4th of July. And that's my last new start. You can use it in June mm -hmm. and July, and also in May. Mm -hmm. You're patriotic. Yes. yes. Now, what is my monthly orny sale for this month? Goodness, my neighbors are crazy. Um, not in my neighborhood, though. <clears throat> okay, um, let's see. So, I just finished up my April. No, this is May. Yeah, okay. I don't even know what month it is. Okay, this is... You can quit laughing now. <laughs> okay, I just finished up my April monthly orny sale and monthly orny sale is a monthly ornament stitch along that's sal that's how we get that and this is a mill hill harvest pen but i'm going to make an ornament out of it or a magnet and this is a little witch's shoe it's called wanda's boot and it's on perforated paper oh you might want to hold this oh, up yes. sorry i'm just not used to this I'm not used to having help. Oh, yay, it's wonderful. Yay, it's okay, but the stitch design is 32 by 30. And this is what I've got done so far. And all I really need to do now is put the beads on. And we've uh -uh. got all different kinds of beads and a couple of treasures that we'll put on there. So uh, this is two strands over two. And hopefully this will be a finish very quickly. And we'll have, it'll have a little heart on hanging from the toe. And you know how she likes beads. I just love beads. No, they don't know that. <laughs> they don't know that. No, I like beads better than finishing, okay? Mm, yeah. Okay, and this all goes in here. You can just sling it in there. We will and I don't know what that is. Lot, so okay. Well, no all right, now. Um, so, hopefully I'll have that one done and finished by the end of the month. So, I plan to work on that some more today. All right, now it's time for a giveaway, just because we've gotten more subscribers, and I really appreciate y'all subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, and also hit the like button. Now, if you don't like it, hit the dislike button, but I've only had one person ever do that. So, I don't know what they wanted, but it wasn't me. But anyway, <laughs> if you like cross stitch, stay tuned. If not, you better go. Okay, all right, the first thing we have, both things we have today are gently used patterns, okay? The first thing we have is, you'll never guess who's by, Lizzie Kate! <laughs> and this is, put on your big girl panties and deal with it. Yeah, okay, this should be our slogan for today, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But anyway, <laughs> it includes the floss, um, not the floss, the fabric, and it's 28 count... I would say ivory cashel, or no, wait a minute. I think it's Witchell. Yeah, it's Witchell because it's a little stiffer. So for those in-hand stitchers, really good. And uh, you can use sampler threads or it's got a DMC conversion. Now, the only thing is it does not have the eight yellow buttons. But if you don't want to do the buttons, you could do yellow cross stitches or French mm -hmm. knots. So there you go. And Fat Quarter Shop has plenty of yellow buttons by Lori Holt. So that would be good. So the word to say will be pink, pink. That will get you into the giveaway. And we'll remind you again at the end of the video. Please don't let me forget that. <laughs> okay. You're asking me. <laughs> not to, not All right, the you. next thing we have is, and don't know who, oh, I do know who this is by. Okay, this is called Charming Stitches 
Quaker series number one. And the Quaker series are so, so popular. Now this one has three of the charms in it because I stitched one of them. This was a cross stitch uh, retreat project at Pandas Cross Stitch and Beading in Malden. And we have Cherish Home, Love, and Peace. I think mine said Bless though, but this one says Family, Laughter, and Friends. I should not have read what was on the front. Oh well. <laughs> but anyway, you just stitch the design. This would make a great smalls exchange when you go to StitchCon, which I am not going to get to go to. But anyway, this is so cute and it's, uh, they did it on 32 count linen, but it wouldn't matter if you used it on 28 count or just Ada, whatever you want to do. But it's real easy to sew the charm on. So when you do that one, say Quaker, okay? I need to write that down. I don't know what to put in the random comment picker. Well, remember Quaker. Okay, then let's see. Okay, plans. What are we going to do? Okay, I'm going to continue to stitch on my whip go pieces. My trick or treat has got to have 400 stitches and I thought it was 500. So I need about 242 more stitches. Uh, the Rather Be Stitching needs a finish. So we'll see about that. Uh, hopefully I'll get that finished this coming week. That would be great. Then I'm going to be working on my monthly Orny Sal Wanda's Boot from Mill Hill. And I plan to continue on my patriotic pieces, the Stars and Stripes, and maybe might just pick up another two, one or two that strike my fancy. And the Christmas Quaker, hopefully we can get part one done. And maybe a new start. Because you know, this is mania. And some old whips, just whatever I feel like it you know, is to be announced. I'm very spontaneous this month instead of just like, I have to do this today because I made plans for last week and I mapped out what I was going to do this week. Didn't happen, did it? No. no. So, Dolores, what are you going to be stitching? Um, I will be working on a 4th of July and uh, probably go back to... Uh, Kringle and that's I'll my come. little house needleworks. Yes, and then I think I might be working Maybe starting something else But I've got a lot of whips that I could work on but I like new starts. Mm-hmm. We all do. It's fun Okay, so we're both gonna be very busy <clears throat> now um, Oh well Paul. Okay, Dolores got this. Go ahead and hold it up. And this is the Christmas ornament book from uh, Ornaments 3 from JBW Designs. And it's got all these Christmas ornament patterns in there. So she's all ready for Jolly July. And we haven't decided what we're doing exactly for Jolly July, but Dolores and I went through some of my whips and it's like, oh, this oh, is for Christmas. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh. It was two hours. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> but these would make good little pillows for dobos or just the little ornaments on your tree. Or ornaments making one for your grandchildren or your great grandchildren. And they're very, very, the patterns are very easy to read. Very simple. All right. And she got that at Fire Poppies. Or Donna's. Still re don't remember. I think, and it's a limited edition collector's book. I think she got it at Pandas Crossing now that I recognize the pricing gun. Okay. Okay, the next, because it's got the same thing mine does. Oh. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got, or that I got, was Witch's Brew. It's a new pattern from Mill Hill called, uh, yeah, Witch's Brew. And it's a buttons and bead pattern from Mill Hill. I just think that is just too cute. That could be me standing there over that cauldron. Okay, the next thing I got was Fall Fun, and it's got the little pumpkin patch sign directing you where you need to go with the cute little crow and the pumpkins. And these are so small and tiny, and they've got all the floss, all the beads. The witch one had all the floss, all the beads, good directions. And also, this little owl was adorable. Halloween Owl, Autumn Harvest. 
these just came out not too long ago. So those are very cute. And those are kits from Mill Hill. So those were nice. Now last time, oh yeah, here they are. Um, I ordered from Stony Creek uh, so I could get my um, buttons quickly. And I couldn't get over how quick everything came. I was very, very surprised. Um, okay, first of all, I showed you the Hall hometown Halloween banner free pattern for the next four months. Okay, so this month was the ghost with the house and I've got that here. Okay, so now you can do just the house, you can do the whole thing, you know, or you could just do the ghost. But the pattern's easy to read. It shows you how to do a French knot. If you do this on Ada, it's 10 and a half by eight inches because the stitch count for all four of them is 148 by 111. And that includes the border. And they use Creeks colors, which I don't use. I usually just substitute those. And DMCs, and they also use Glisten Gloss, which is rainbow blending thread. And usually mm. I do buy that. Um, <laughs> if not, I use the Chronic. And this one has the ghost and the pumpkin and the star button. Oh, that's not showing. Hang on. Oh. There you go. Right there. Okay, so that one, I've got that. All right. <clears throat> so all you have to do every month is go to the Stony Creek uh, website Click on new arrivals and it'll show the uh, pattern or it might say pattern of the month. I can't remember now. But anyway, I'm going to be doing it on this picture of this plus because shell 28 count J. Oh, let me and this it. is a fat quarter. Let me take it out of the bag so you can yes. see it. Yes. And we'll let it you is beautiful. It I love it. Okay. We're working on this. Okay. I might take it home. No, Don't she won't. tell her. No, she won't. So there, wow, that's really showing some, it's not that blatant. Uh, but anyway, it's really showing it a dye, isn't it? It is beautiful. It's very pretty, but it doesn't stand out quite that much. It's kind of a bluey, murky purple. Mm. And I thought it would just look really good on that. So I may have to adjust some of the colors, but I'm not sure. And then I also got, because no fabric can travel alone, I got Picture This Plus Cashel 28 Count Legacy. And I got a fat quarter of that also. This is very pretty too. And I can see me using this on maybe some samplers or, I don't know, maybe even some of my classic color works pieces or something. I'm not sure yet. We'll just have to see. But I thought that was very, very pretty. Oh, and it came in four days. It's beautiful. From Stony Creek. And Stony Creek is, it I don't is know where beautiful. they're located, but it's not around here. So anyway. Oh, it's gorgeous. But it's very pretty. So that was my haul for this week and last week or whatever. Because um, some of it I had been waiting on for a while. But some of it, like the fabric, no. Uh, I had not. But um, it's beautiful. Anyway, so oh. what are we going to say for the giveaway? Pink for the. Yeah, where'd that go? go? Okay. Okay. There you are. We're going to say pink for big girl panties. Okay. We're not going to say panties. I'm sorry. That's not allowed. <laughs> if you say panties, you are disqualified. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we are going to say Quaker for the whimsy and whip pattern, uh, charming stitches. All right, and if we do not hear, well, we'll give you a week and we'll announce the winner next week and we'll give them a week to uh, send their address and then it will get on its way. All right, so um, we'd like to bid you good day. We hope you have just as pretty and beautiful a spring day as we do with all this nice weather and the birds in the background. And thank you so much, Dolores, for coming. I really appreciate the visit. And hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Happy stitching. Bye-bye.